So today we're going to look at uh, how to make a peninsula wall like we have in this closet here. So we have this wall coming out, units on both sides, and then this unit in the middle. So this is where our end proc is going to be. I'll show you how we how we get there. All right, so let's start a new design. Draw our walls. And now this is going to be our peninsula wall. Just bring this mill wall out even though it, it might be uh, very short. Just bring it out for now. Okay. And now let's make this wall about four inches wide. So maybe that's the size of your, your wood going in on that wall. And we want to make sure we use that piece. Just fill in the rest of these here. <clears throat> Here's our wall four. That's the one we want to put our unit on right here to utilize this end of the peninsula wall. So let's go into there. And now we need to go to uh, one, one thing to note real quick is that our units are 14 deep. So one thing to we want to go to this extend units beyond the wall. We're going to go 14 deep so that it lines up with the panels of the units on each side. That will give us 28 extra inches to use over here. So we now have 28 here. This is set as an empty space. Let me just get rid of that. So you can see these two red lines are our physical wall. And then this is 14 on the right, 14 on the left. We can go ahead and add a unit. Just put a shoving unit, or base unit rather. <clears throat> I can view that now. And that's how we use that wall. If you try to go here and you don't see this extend units, uh, extend units beyond wall uh, tool, that's because your admin has it turned off. If they need to turn it on, you can go to the admin miscellaneous settings. And then it is right here, allow wall extension under construction settings. That's all I have for you today. Thanks.